Okay, so we are going to have a look at this sort of question here, which is a, a converting decimal number into floating point representation. Now you can see here that we have 6.125 being converted into this number here. Now don't worry about why that's the case. We can just take that for a given. What we're looking to do is to try and work out going from this number here, 110.001, .001, how we can put it into mantissa and exponent down here, along with the sine bit. This uh, question was taken from the 2019 question paper from the SQA. Um, so the first thing I would do is take down our number, what we have. Okay, so it is... Um, one, one, zero, point, zero, zero, one. Okay. So this is a, um, a positive number. Okay. In some cases, it will have a negative um, in some of the questions, but in this case, uh, we just have it as a positive here. Okay. I'm just going to rub that out. And um, so we can see that the sign bit part of the answer. Um, if we go across here, the sign bit is zero. So that's one of our marks. We've identified that there's no um, negative point there. So if it was negative, if it did have here, then we would say that the sign bit was a one. Okay. But it's not. The next thing we want to do is work out how many decimal places uh, the point moves in order to get to in front of the uh, the one here. Okay, so we're going to move back the way. One, two, three places. Okay, so um, our exponent is equal to three. Okay, but we cannot put three in here. It needs to actually be in binary. Okay, so we are going to convert this into binary, and those of you who know binary will know that 1, 1 is 3, because we, if we're doing it like this, then that would be the case. Now, it says up here that there are 8 bits being used to save the exponent, so we actually need to do all 8 bits. But we only need the first two, so we fill all these in as zeros. Okay, so when I put in my answer, I'm going to put in whatever I have here. So six zeros. And the two there. So I've now got two marks for this. And then we need to know what the mantissa is. And it says that there are 16 bits for the mantissa. And all that we do for the mantissa is we take this number here, we start off writing it out. Okay. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six already used. Now, although it says 16 bits for the mantissa, that's also including the sign. So imagine this was here as well. We've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bits. But it uses uh, 16 bits for this whole thing. So we just add on zeros to the end. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bits so far. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I'm gonna put in my answer up here. We've got one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. So we have all together here sixteen bits, and then Eight bits here, which corresponds to sixteen for the mantissa, 
16 for the uh, sorry, 8 for the exponent. That's here. And then there's 16 bits here. One bit of those is for the sign because it was a positive number. And then 15 remainders. Just take this full number, 110001. Add on the rest of the zeros in order to make it up to uh, 15 bits. 16 including the sign. We worked out our exponent. It moved three places. So that's where we got this number. And then we converted that into an 8-bit binary number. Okay, this is example number two using a negative binary number. This is going to be a small number two, starting with a 0, 0.00 something. And again, we're going to put it into this format, the sine, the mantissa, and then the exponent. Okay, and straight away we can see that there is a negative sign here. Okay, so in the last example, it was a positive number. There was no negative sign there, so the sign was zero. In this example, we're going to put a one in there. Okay, if a binary number starts with a one, it means it's negative. So that's why the sign is there. Now, in the previous example, we moved our point to get to the start this way in order to get before the one. Okay, so we would uh, put our, our kind of decimal point here, and in this example, you would say one, two, three, four, five jumps. Okay, um, but that is to the left. That was that was a kind of large number in order to get it to the left. This is a small number because it's zero point zero 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 something. You know, it's very very small. Um, as in our kind of normal scientific notation, it means that that would be a kind of negative jump. So like times 10 to the uh, power of negative 15. You know, that's a very, very small number. And you can see here, this is a small number because it's zero point something. So this time we are still wanting to get it in front of the one, but we're going the opposite way. Okay, so the thing you need to remember, if it's, if it's a small number, we are jumping negatively. We are jumping to the right. Okay. Um, how many jumps did we make? We made three jumps. So our exponent is three. Um, but because it was to the right this time, it is negative three. Okay. So how do we write negative three uh, in binary? Well, we need to use two's complement. Okay. So we should have learned this in lesson one. And if we're using 2's complement, we need to start off with negative 128, then 64, 32, uh, 16, 8, 4, 2, and then 1. Okay, so we start off with our negative 128. It's the only way to get a negative number. We need negative 3. Um, then we add our 64, which gives us negative 64, negative 32, negative 16, negative 8, negative 4 um, and then we leave oops and uh, delete that um, and we need our 1 in there okay so this is our negative 3 in 2's complement so I'm just going to write that in here Okay, so we've got two marks now. We've got the sign bit, and um, because it was negative, it's a one. We've got the exponent. We worked out that it jumped um, three places. Okay, so um, but they were to the right, so it was a negative number. We needed to make negative three in two's complement. We have now have this number, and now we need the mantissa. So here is um, the number that we started off with. Okay, now the mantissa is from the first significant number okay so you're one here because we've already told the computer that we are jumping three places in order to get to this point so that's the reason why we can forget about these numbers now okay so we only need the one 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 zero 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 one so i'm going to write this down one 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 zero zero one oops sorry one more zero okay and that then gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Okay, now we're going to go for the same idea as last time. We're using 8 bits for the exponent and 16 bits for the mantissa. Now that's not always the case, but just because the last one was the same, we will do uh, the same sort of thing here. In, the, in an example the SQA may give you, they might say 16 bits for the mantissa, 16 bits for the exponent. They may see 32 bits for the mantissa, 16 bits for the exponent. But they're likely to say 8 bits for the exponent and just anything for the mantissa. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces already taken up. Okay, we've got one for our sine bit. So let's pretend that's in here. So we now used eight. So it means that we need to then, if we want to make this up to 16 binary digits, we just add in another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's our mantissa number. So without this sign bit, we've already got that. So one, 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 zero, 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 one, and then our eight bits. And that's our number. We get three marks for this. Um, try making up your own examples on this. There's some in OneNote as well. Uh, but this is a kind of really, I would say it's a bit of a gift. Once you have learned how to do this, once you're confident in this, it's a good three marks to be able to get in the exam.